Hi guys, welcome back to another video with me. This is Dr. Jocelyn and Bentley. Um, so today I went grocery shopping. Well, actually I did some grocery shopping. I ordered some things online. It's popcorn, Bentley. He's trying to get to the popcorn. I ordered some things from Publix online. I ordered some things from Walmart online. And then I ran into Winn-Dixie to get their alkaline water. And then I still have to go to Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. Um, I wanna get some samosas from Whole Foods. I got them the other week and they were so good. So I wanna go in their deli department and get a couple of containers of their, whole, of their um, samosas and see if they have any tofu um, that I like um, from their deli department. And then I wanna go to Trader Joe's to pick up all of my produce and a few other items that I really, really love from Trader Joe's. But all of the other items that you see here mainly came from Publix, or all came from Publix. Uh, you can see the alkaline water in here. That's from uh, Winn-Dixie. And then some other bags underneath are from, uh, what is it? Walmart. Oh my gosh. I <laughs> That's a total of five grocery stores that I am going to go to. I've already been to three, and I still have Trader Joe's and Whole Foods to go to just to complete my grocery shopping uh, for the next couple of weeks and then I'll do it all over again. Everything I got from uh, Publix was buy one, get one free. Every single thing I got from Publix was buy one, get one free, including the popcorn that Bentley's trying to get to. You can see there's two bags there and these delicious apples, there's two bags there. So everything I have from Publix, two of each, my coffee was buy one, get one free um, from Publix. They had a lot of, let me show you a lot of, um, this is the coffee that I got, was buy one, get one free. They had a lot of uh, kombuchas, uh, buy one, get one free. This is a 221 BC brand. This is buy one, get one free right now at Publix. Well, I don't know, by the time you see this video, maybe it won't be because they change sales every week. And then this brand here, uh, Kevita Kombucha, this was buy two, get one free. So I bought three, I got three pineapple peach because this is really good. So I loaded up on kombuchas, mainly the 221 BC brand, just different flavors because it was buy one, get one free. And then I am about to eat one of these good pops. Um, I love popsicles, fruit popsicles or fruit bars or whatever you wanna call them. And I love the watermelon brand. So these were also buy one, get one free. Watermelon Agave Good Pop from Publix. So I'm getting ready to get one of these, but um, I just just wanted to show you, I'm gonna put all of this stuff away um, right now, but I'm gonna have a Popsicle while I'm doing it. I just want to show you some of the stuff that I got from my grocery haul at three grocery stores. And then after I put this away, I'm gonna run to Trader Joe's and then Whole Foods, which is directly across the street from my local Trader Joe's. So stay tuned. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five grocery stores later, and I still don't have everything. So, hi Bentley. So yesterday I went to uh, Walmart, Publix, and Winn-Dixie. I actually ordered groceries from Publix and Walmart, so I just had to go there and have them put the groceries in my car for those two places. But Winn-Dixie has um, alkaline water. Whenever I cannot find alkaline water uh, on sale, like Publix normally, normally runs it buy one, get one free, but they didn't have it this week, buy one, get one free. I'm hoping that they will this upcoming week. But they didn't have it this week, so whenever I, I don't have it on sale or no one has it on sale, I will always refer back to Winn-Dixie because Winn-Dixie sells alkaline water, the same alkaline water that Whole Foods and Publix charges four, five, six dollars for. Winn-Dixie charges $2.99 for it. So I always go to Winn-Dixie and get my uh, alkaline water from there. So I got about eight gallons yesterday from uh, Winn-Dixie. So, and by the time I got home, I was exhausted um, just from being in traffic. It was just crazy. It was hella crazy out there. So I, I wanted to go to Trader Joe's and Whole Foods as well. So I just waited. I said, I'll do it tomorrow, which is today. So today I went to Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. So I went to Whole Foods first. 
Uh, this banana actually belongs over in the Trader Joe's. So to show you what I got from Whole Foods, I got me some more samosas um, because they were so good the other week when I got them. And look what I found. I found the cornbread from Whole Foods. It was $6 and some change, but definitely worth it. Um, I actually was just looking to get a few slices of cornbread, but when I looked on their website, um, on Whole Foods website, I saw that this particular, my local Whole Foods actually did have it, I, but they sold it like this as a whole uh, pan of cornbread instead of slices. Um, like I've been to several Whole Foods in New York and I've been to, I think there's a couple of Whole Foods in Atlanta and I've been to those as well. And they sell them by the slice, like a little a square um, for like $3 and some change. And they also have vegan cornbread and then they have uh, just regular cornbread. But at my local Whole Foods, they don't sell it by the slice, they sell it like this. <laughs> which is not bad because it, it, this was only $6.44 and it is Whole Foods Market New York Cornbread. Really, really, this is so delicious. If you haven't tried it um, and you are looking for something to try in Whole Foods, I urge you to try it. Um, but let me tell you the situation. So as I've been saying in my previous video about Whole Foods, I was telling you about uh, this cornbread that they make and I promise you it is so good. So when I went to my local Whole Foods um, the other day, yesterday, um, I didn't see it and this was the second time I've been in the store but and, and I didn't see it but before um, even going to Whole Foods, I went on their website to see if it was there and it was on their website. Um, so I said, okay, they have to sell it. So this time, instead of just walking around and looking for it, I'm going to, you know, ask for help if I don't see it. So I did. I walked around. I tried to find it. I didn't see it. I found my samosas. I got my samosas, put them in my cart, but I couldn't find the cornbread anywhere. So I saw one of their, uh, one of the Whole Foods employees. So I, um, asked her, um, if they sold where was the cornbread? I didn't ask if they sold it. I asked, where was it? Um, and he, you would have thought I had asked her some ridiculous question. This person looked at me and was like, you know, cornbread. Like she literally said it just like that cornbread, you know, all mean mugging, face all mushed up, everything. Like I had said something far-fetched. Everybody sells cornbread. So she was like, no, <laughs> we don't have cornbread and literally walked away from me. So <laughs> I found someone else that works there in the deli department, but this particular person was actually behind the counter. So I knew if anybody knew where the cornbread was or if they sold it or not, this person would. So um, I asked the gentleman and he knew exactly where it was. He directed me right to the cornbread they had four containers of it, four, maybe five. So I got one and yeah, I was a little frustrated from the treatment. Um, so I didn't even bother to get anything else out of the store. I was just like, no, let me get my samosas and my cornbread um, and let me get out of here. And I did and I left and I went to Trader Joe's. <laughs> Bentley is like, get to it already. He, I guess he thinks there's something in this bag for him, but it, it really isn't. So yeah, this is my Whole Foods, my one lonesome Whole Foods bag. And so I went to Trader Joe's. Um, today is Sunday. Uh, note to sell, do not ever go to Trader Joe's on Sunday. I could have sworn that, that this particular Trader Joe's at the time that I was in there, it was a fire hazard. It was so many people in this store that it was just very, very ridiculous. I, you know, normally when I shop at Trader Joe's, it is pretty crowded in there. It's a popular store. Everybody loves Trader Joe's and it's nearby um, where I live and I live in a very highly populated area. So yeah, Trader Joe's is, I mean, there's plenty of public stores over here. There's every grocery store that you can think of is within just a couple of miles of where I live, but Trader Joe's is without, without a doubt, 
probably one of the most, if not the most popular grocery store for the people in my area to shop at. So I went today thinking it's Sunday, people are home preparing for their work week, and I should have known by the parking lot. Uh, <laughs> I should have just not went in there. It was so chaotic in there. I promise you, it seemed like it was a fire hazard because it was just way too many people in there. Um, I literally had to leave my cart and it was actually raining. Um, it, you, for some reason, like the past three times that I've gone to this particular Trader Joe's, it always rains. I don't know if that's a sign to not go to this Trader Joe's and to go to the other one, which is a little bit further away. I'm not sure what it is, but for the past three times that I've gone to Trader Joe's, it has poured down raining. One of the times I was in there, the power went out. Um, all the registers shut down because of the weather. So anyway, um, I, you know, I should have just listened <laughs> and went to a different Trader Joe's, but I went on into this Trader Joe's and it, even though the parking lot was packed and people were uh, skipping people and still in parking spaces, I still was able to roll right through an aisle. And just as I started on the aisle, there was a lady going right to her um, car and I just stopped and she got in, pulled out and I backed in. So that worked per perfectly for me. That was the only thing. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. I get in, I got into Trader Joe's and it looked like chaos in there. Um, they were out of a lot of stuff. I mainly went to Trader Joe's for produce because I had bought a lot of other things. Most of the other things I wanted, I got from Publix, buy one, get one free, and from Walmart because Walmart is cheaper than Trader Joe's and any of the other stores that I go to. So I was mainly going to Trader Joe's for produce, but the only produce that I was able to get today from Trader Joe's is tomatoes and bananas. You can see the strap on my bag broke and I'll, there was just bananas in this bag but the strap broke. So yeah, that's all the produce I got from Trader Joe's. I did, however, get my favorite um, grapefruit soda, which is so amazing. Whole Foods sells uh, something similar to this and I wanted to try theirs, but I was just so irritated by that employee. I didn't feel like looking for it. So I just, you know, got this one from Trader Joe's. And then what else? I got some pasta, which is something I haven't eaten in a very, very long time. And then I saw this on their website. I don't know why I bought it, but I just wanted to try it. It's ketchup flavored sprinkle. Um, and it's supposed to taste like ketchup, so I got that. So the next time I'm using ketchup, I will try this instead, just to see what it tastes like. That was one of those crazy purchases. Then of course I got some more olives, some more black olives. So I said it before, I think Trader Joe's black olives are absolutely amazing. And then sorry, I got some sparkling green apple water it sounds refreshing and it is still hot here even though it's close to being fall um, it cools off in the morning and in the evenings but during the daytime it's still like 90 plus degrees and then i got some uh, mango smoothies i drank one because it's so hot outside and i was so frustrated and then i got a couple of bags of potatoes they had a lot of these so I got those and then I got my um, very green smoothie. They had a lot of these too. I will say that even though there were a million people in this little bitty store, they also had a million employees. Now I will say that one thing about Trader Joe's, getting to the register is never a problem. You know, at the most there is one person in front of me, but that person is finishing up with their order. I've never had to wait a very long time in their line. It's just maneuvering through their store and getting a parking spot. Those are the two problems. But um, I like the fact that they have always have a lot of employees working no matter when I'm there. And they definitely had 
a lot of employees restocking. You know, there was a lot of customers buying stuff and they were right there stocking the shelves back up. I will say they were moving real slow on the produce. I tried to wait. Um, they didn't have any, I used the, uh, I think it's romaine lettuce that comes three heads in a pack. They didn't have any of that. They didn't even have uh, chopped romaine lettuce in the bags. I usually don't like bagged salads. I try to use uh, whole lettuce. They didn't even have regular lettuce. They, <laughs> it, it was, yeah, the produce area was crazy. And then, like I said, it was so packed in there. It was difficult to uh, bring your cart up and down the aisles. So I, at one point I set my cart over, I, well, I left my cart because I saw that they had uh, this shawarma chicken thighs. And I, when I lived in the Middle East, I wanted to try this, but at that time I was vegetarian. So I wasn't eating any meat, um, so I never had it. But when I went on Trader Joe's website and I saw that they have it, and it's, you know, looks well seasoned and all of that, these are chicken thighs and they are boneless. Um, when I saw that they had this, I thought, well, I'm gonna buy some and try it. But I had a very difficult time getting to the area where it was. Some lady had her cart the long way in front of the food, like no one else needed to get over there but her. So I just pushed my cart over, like out of the way of everyone and walked over there. I came back to my cart and some kid was in the process of trying to pick up my umbrella. <laughs> I said, excuse me. Oh, and he looked at me and then he looked around. I'm like, yeah, this, this is all mine. I walked in with this coach umbrella and I'm definitely gonna walk out with it. And I just thought, oh my gosh, let me get out of here. Um, yeah, and on that note, I circled back down another aisle and went right to the register. I was like, it's, it is time for me to go. Um, I did get, they did have uh, my chicken tikka masala. They had these, so the lady was actually putting these out as I was coming down the aisle looking for them. So I waited patiently until she finished, until she emptied her boxes. And then I picked up these three here. So yeah, note to self, and the cashier even said, she was like, yeah, Sundays are the busiest days for them. She then said, this is not bad. And I'm looking at her like, really? Oh my God, because I literally want to scream right now. This is giving me anxiety, you know? It was like people, like ants, just ants running around and there was nowhere for you to go. Like nowhere, as soon as you think there's a spot to move to, somebody else pops right there. People these days just don't have any manners. They don't say, excuse me, pardon me. They don't say any of that these days. That type of behavior to me gives me anxiety. So like I said, that was enough for me. I said, um, time to go. <laughs> and I left. I got to the register, paid for my stuff and got out of there. Um, I love Trader Joe's, but I really need them to get on this bandwagon with everyone else and let people order their groceries. Because for people like me, it is giving me anxiety. I love Trader Joe's, but I need you guys to, you know, give us some alternatives or something. But um, like I said, I got these things. So tomorrow I have to go back out because the person that was shopping for me at Publix picked up honey crisp apples. I asked for two bags of gala apples and I got one bag of gala apples and honey crisp apples. This person had one jaw. And then look, two of the apples are rotten. There's only six apples in here. So one third of them are rotten. So even if, you know, you gave me the wrong apples, I love apples, I would have kept them, but one third of them are rotten. So now tomorrow, I have to go back out to Publix to exchange these. And while I'm at Publix, I guess I'll go ahead and pick up the produce that I couldn't get from Trader Joe's. So that's my rant. And yeah, five grocery stores later, I am about 97% complete with buying all my groceries. Excuse me, Bentley. This is what the refrigerator is looking like. These were also buy one, get one free, um, these tortillas. 
but it's sweet Hawaiian. I try not to eat bread, um, but I thought, well, I'll get these because, you know, maybe the calories are not that much. So I can have two of these and it's 140 calories, but they're sweet Hawaiian. And if you've had the Hawaiian bread, you know that that is absolutely incredible. Also, I got, uh, let's see if I can take this out. I got Ithaca hummus, everyone bagel hummus. Um, everyone bagel hummus. They were buy one, get one free. So I got these um, from Publix as well. So that's that. And this is my freezer looking a whole lot better. This is what it looks like now. These Good Pop avocado and watermelon. These uh, are so, so good. It, like I said, it tastes like watermelon, frozen watermelon. That's what it tastes like. So yeah, this is what my freezer is looking like now. Right, Bentley? Um, that is about it. I am going to put this food away, probably make me some potatoes. I am definitely exhausted from all of this grocery shopping and I'm still not finished. But thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and follow. Bye.